Hello friends and welcome to Our Mind. It's Dr. Cassie Klein here. I thought I'd share this incredible scenery with you and also I'd just like to take a moment to talk about why I'm here doing these videos. The truth is that mental health is becoming a huge topic of conversation, right from the medical sphere to government organizations and amongst the community. For once, people are starting to speak up about what used to be a heavily stigmatized topic. And this is still a work in progress. To this day, it's often the elephant in the room for many of the patients we might see in a medical clinic, and even amongst our friends and family. It's simply not talked about and addressed in the same way perhaps that other medical conditions might be dealt with, where we have state-of-the-art machines and investigations for things like cancer and heart disease. But mental health, that's different. It's more complex and difficult to address using the black and white diagnostic medical model we're so used to. In fact, I often hear other doctors saying it's quite a challenge to deal with patients with mental health issues because it feels so close to home, that in a way it affects us all. We all have these vulnerabilities within us we can relate to and that makes it harder to maintain those boundaries. Even for the most qualified psychiatrists and scientists, there still seems to be a huge gap in our understanding of what these things like depression and anxiety actually are, what construes it, what causes it, and what can actually help. I've always thought that diagnostically labeling people into categories such as major depressive disorder or anxiety disorder may be helpful from a systems point of view to guide certain treatment regimes, but it's not truly and deeply understanding the person as a whole. This modern era seems to focus on material things, productivity, consumerism, and we're just bombarded with all this information on a daily basis. It's quite overwhelming. Despite being more connected by the internet than ever before, we're feeling more isolated and alone than ever. We're up against these huge tech companies getting us hooked on social media and other things for profit gain. And this fast paced modern world is continuing to evolve at an alarming rate. But there isn't much in the way of addressing our mental wellness. That is what we could be doing, teaching in our schools, bringing into our communities, our homes and day to day for ourselves to look after our mental health. I mean, we have systems in place to catch people who become so unwell that they require hospitalization, but there's this gap, right, between being mentally well and severely mentally unwell, with not much help or understanding in between. You don't go from feeling 10 out of 10 your best self to rock bottom zero in one day. It's a process and millions of people are sitting here somewhere in the middle where perhaps medication seem too drastic a measure or doesn't feel quite right to help the individual. But what else is there to help to get you back up to here and stop us from slipping down to rock bottom? There's a huge space here where things could be better, where we could work on what it is that keeps us mentally on top of things, our thoughts, a sense of control, managing stress and overwhelm, and keeping ourselves well with an overall sense of well-being. If we could help people stay well, help people who haven't quite hit rock bottom to autonomously bring themselves to a better place, and even to help those people who have hit rock bottom feel even marginally better, that would be huge, not only on an individual level for each of us, but for our families, our friends, our communities, our medical systems, which are already at capacity and our planet as a whole. I believe this is where we can make the biggest difference, to bring the current research advances to the public, to see what positive changes we can make to our lifestyle to optimize our mental well-being. And these are things we can do day to day with ease, without huge expenses, without having to give up our autonomy. I think this is the best tool we've got right now in this crazy modern world. So I hope you'll join me, us, through this journey to work towards finding what helps, finding what works, to make mental well-being a priority and make that the new health craze, rather than some new fad diet or quick fix pill, if you know what I mean. So that's it from me to you, my friends. As always, I wish you health in mind and in body, and I hope to see you soon.